Let's bring in Vedika Bahel of Truth or Fake for more uh, on the situation in the Middle East. Uh, good evening to you, Vedika. As we've been covering the Hamas leader, Yair Sinwa, killed in Gaza this week. Uh, today, Vedika, you're fact-checking claims about uh, a passport uh, that uh, Israel allegedly found with his body. Tell us more. Yes, Mark, that's right. Israeli media uh, said last week that two people killed alongside Yahya Sinwa uh, in Gaza were, at, in fact, his bodyguards, alleging uh, that one of them, in fact, worked uh, as a teacher for UNRWA, that is the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinians. Now, citing the uh, Israeli army, they then went on to post photos of what was allegedly found at the scene, saying it was weapons, uh, cash, packet of Mentos, uh, and a, an, an UNRWA identification document. And as you can imagine, of course, these photos then began to trickle down uh, their way on social media, racking up is what we can see here is millions uh, of views. Now, these photos then uh, led some Internet users to allege that Sinwa was, in fact, uh, carrying a forged uh, a forged identification document so that he could falsify his identity as an UNRWA employee. There was also uh, internet users that proclaimed, proclaimed online uh, that uh, this, uh, this document being found at the scene proves that UNRWA is a terrorist uh, organization and that, that Western nations should therefore cut their funding uh, to the United Nations. So what do we actually know about this document that was allegedly found and, uh, and, and what can we, what can we uh, gather from that? So let's take a closer look. Now, if we look there, we can see that this isn't, in fact, an, an, uh, an UNRWA ID, but it is very much a passport. It's made out to the name of Hani H.S. Zorob. We can see that he uh, was born in 1984 uh, in Rafa in the Gaza Strip, that which makes him uh, 40 years old. Um, we can see that his profession is listed as an UNRWA teacher, but what we also need to take into account here is the date of validity in this passport. We can see that it was issued back in 2012 and it very much expired back in 2017, which was uh, several years ago now. So it is uh, absolutely not valid by any means means. But overall, what I can say, Mark, is that from doing this fact check, I found that there are a <coughs> few uh, inconsistencies uh, in this story. You've piqued my interest even more, Vedika. Tell us about those inconsistencies. Well, uh, let's talk about uh, what we do know, Mark. Now, what we do know is that Hani Zorob is not uh, in Gaza. He confirmed this himself on his personal Facebook page, where he said that he is in Egypt. Um, and this is, in fact, confirmed by documents uh, showing his departure. There is an active uh, Telegram account uh, in Gaza that posted screenshots of a conversation allegedly with Hani Zorab's wife, who confirmed that they do in fact live in Egypt. And there was also uh, screenshots and scans posted of his current and very valid passport, uh, as well as pictures uh, of his visa for Egypt, as well uh, as the document showing that he did pass through the Rafa uh, land crossing into Egypt on April 28th earlier this year. So we know that he's not in Gaza and that he hasn't been for six months. Now, we also know that he does actually work for UNRWA and that he is very much alive. This has been confirmed by the, by the boss of UNRWA, the Commissioner General, Philippe Lazzarini, who said exactly this uh, in his post on X, that he travelled in April through the Rafa border with his family to Egypt. Uh, Lazzarini then went on to say in this post that, once again, unchecked information is used to discredit UNRWA and its staff. So... Let's just recap what we do know about this, uh, about this story here. Um, now, Israeli media, as we talked about earlier, Israeli media said um, that the two people killed alongside Yahya Sinwa were his bodyguards and that one of them uh, was a teacher for UNRWA. It also said that it had found an UNRWA ID card at the scene uh, where uh, Sinwa's body was found. We also know that the document found was an expired passport um, and that the UNRWA boss himself confirmed that the staff member pictured in said passport is alive uh, and well in Egypt and has been there for six months. We also uh, have seen the paperwork, therefore, to confirm that that is true. Now, I know that there are some questions that remain here about how and why, but this is what I can confirm to you, uh, Mark, that we do know about this story.